Hello and welcome to Pixascene. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split a larger PDF document into smaller parts using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Now, this skill is helpful for when you find yourself in a situation where you cannot send a PDF document via email, for example, because it is too big, or when you want to break a long document, such as a book, into smaller parts. I am using a Windows version of Adobe Acrobat Pro to do this, so the view and process might be different for our friends who are using the Mac version of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Okay, let us get started. First, go ahead and open your PDF document using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. I've done so here. As you can see, my PDF document have four pages. So one, two, three, four, four pages. Okay, next, find the Organize Pages tool. And the Organize Pages tool is located right here. And click on that. As you can see, you have a number of options to organize your pages. For example, you can extract some pages. You can insert pages from another document. You can replace existing pages. Or you can split the document into multiple files, which is what we want to do. So go ahead and click on that. Click on the split option. OK, now you have more options on how to split your pages. So right here, if you click on the little arrow button, you'll be given a menu of other options. For example, you can split, the num you can split by number of pages. You can split by file size. And, or you can split by top level bookmark. And here, if you have a, a book, for example, that have bookmarks, you can split it into different chapters. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and select the number of pages option. Now, next, I'm going to go ahead and you know put number two here. So what this means is that I'm telling Acrobat to split my PDF document into multiple files and each files need to contain two pages. Okay, now let's do the output option. Let's click on that and see what's in here. For the output options, you can see that you have the target folder, and here it says the same folder selected at start. So it puts the split files into the same folder as my original document, or the one that's open here, wherever this is sitting or I can put it somewhere else on a folder on my computer. I can do that and I can browse and I can say, let's put it on the desktop, okay? So it's easy to find. And here for the filing label, you can say add a label after, add a label and number after original names, which is fine, you know, using part like part one and two and three, etc. And I have a dash in between and it says do not um, overwrite existing file all these are good, so I'm just going to leave them alone, okay? So I'm going to click OK, and after that, I'm going to cl click on Split. And it tells me that the document has been successfully split into two documents, which makes sense because my document has four pages, and I want them to split into multiple parts, but each part can only contain two pages. So two documents, two pages each, four pages total. I'm going to click OK. All right, now let's go and find my document. So here's my document. All right, so sample document, this is the name of my document that I opened. And it says underscore here, and then part one, and then sample document underscore part two. So this one has two pages, All right, one, two, and and this one right here have the rest, pages three and four. So that is it. That is how you split a document into smaller components, at least by the number of pages. Now you can go back and explore. Here's my document again. And you can go back and explore different the other options too. Um, so for example, you click on split and you can try file size. You know, you can say split my larger document into different files, but only um, 
but each files need to only be two megabytes, for example, or three or whatever it is that you choose. And here is top level bookmark. And again, if you have a book that is uh, bookmarked by chapters, you can split them by chapters. Um, I'll let you explore those and play around with it. Um, I encourage you to do that. So right now, I'll just leave it here for the uh, purpose of keeping this a little shorter. Well, thank you for visiting and for being part of our community. Um, if you find a video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more cool videos, tutorials. Um, and if you are looking for a community to join, we are very much welcome to have you be part of our community. As always, um, your comments are welcome and valued. Until next time, take good care and have a good one.